Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones. In today's episode, I think we're going to declare some more war in the north, but I also want to go ahead and create the kingdom of the first forest. And I think I'm probably going to give the kingdom title to John, just because he was the first Targaryen to be landed up here. Uh, and I am fond of my brother as well, so uh, I think that would be a good plan. I don't think we actually have any claims currently, though. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by laying a claim. Where do I want to lay this claim? Probably some of the lands around us here. Now, we're allied with you. We're not allied with you, though. So let's go ahead uh, and fabricate this claim. Why not? Which one? Oh, we should get the Fist of the First Men. Let's go ahead and fabricate over here. Uh, and then hopefully that's all good. And we're on pause. And then hopefully we can save up 500 gold. Your master of whisperers, Princess Genera, left her position on your court as a result of her marriage to a landed spouse. Oh yeah, Genera is now up here. And her children, who are Targaryen, will inherit these lands as well. So that's all looking good too. Do we have... Oh, what's this? Do we have... What's Master of Whisperers? It, it's... Okay, we already have a new Master of Whisperers. Maybe that event was delayed? <laughs> no idea. Uh, Wilbert Groswell, a nobleman, has fulfilled his solemn oath and has departed this world under the mantle of his white cloak. Wilbert died of old age. He was a warrior of incredible renown. Those who had the fortune to see him with a blade in hand described him as having fought like the warrior incarnate. His steel now rests alongside him, but it will echo in the minds of young warriors across the realms for centuries. With his departure to the Seven Heavens, the duty now falls to fill the vacancy amongst the renowned ranks of the White Cloaks. Let's go ahead and find someone new then. How old were you? 62. I mean, I guess that's that's quite old, isn't it? For uh, Especially in this time period and Crusader Kings in general. Then again, look at Walder Frey. <laughs> I forget how old he was, but definitely older than 60, I imagine. So who have we got here then? So you're you're a skilled fighter. Do we have anyone who's a formidable fighter? We don't. Look at you, a berserker, rough terrain expert, aggressive attacker, legendary blade. To the handsome Aegon, I would be honoured to serve within your king's guard. You shall come to the capital to take your vows. Uh, and there we go. Look at that. Looking very good in his armour. The king's gold rhyme off. Kneels before me. Swearing to exchange his life for mine, to obey your word and keep your confidence, to speak their mind or hold their tongue at your back, and to defend the honour of your name, your dynasty and your throne. He rises, now pledged towards you with all his strength, and to give his blood for yours. Rise, Sir Rymolf. There we go, look at that. I must thank you, my implacable king, for bestowing the honour of serving within your royal guard unto my son, my efficient vassal, Lady Rosalind of Wraithscar. Approaches me after the investiture of the newest member of my King's Guard, Rymoth Ironfoot. Uh, indeed, protecting me is an honour, and he's going to get to see some fighting soon because we're we're ready to march north. Almost, we're just waiting for the claim. My master, Whispers, has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to elope with my knight Melo. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! Uh, we must stop the villain behind this. Yes. You're, you're a knight. We can't be allowing this. Uh, we have 4,000 piety uh, and we're still a sinner. It's kind of crazy how much piety we are actually gaining considering our actions. Grave news for Westeros King Aegon. A long forgotten scion of the treacherous house Blackfire has landed in the lordship of Driftmark and with him land 10,000 troops under command of Harry. <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Wait, Harry's already dead though. He died in his sleep. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, just as the wounds of the world were fought to be healing, the seven kingdoms are once again at war. <gasps> to arms, this black dragon must be quashed. You will play as King Aegon of the... Okay, no, no, no. We don't want to do this. Oh, wow. One of you literally commented yesterday about a Blackfire Rebellion. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I haven't seen it, though. Uh, and, and today... <laughs> We instantly get it. So is this how we claim back our Valyrian swords? To arms. This black dragon must be quashed. <gasps> oh, we don't have enough gold to raise our dragon, though. It would be incredible. Wait, why do you have 72,000? Oh, did everyone join him? To the sensible King Aegon of the Iron Throne, may you live in harmony and contentment. It seems that there is no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield. Rally the troops. Oh, please don't say everyone's joined him. 
but Iron Throne is at a state of war. We should send ravens to the Great Lords, telling them, uh, rallying them to King Aegon the Sith of the Iron Throne's defense. Call the banners! Oh dear. Okay, this might be... Wait, pause the game. Ah, Dawn! Why did you Dawn betray me again? The good news is we actually have a claim on Dawn, so I might revoke their title after this war uh, because we do have reason now. So who's joined me? So the Westerlands are on my side, as are the Stormlands, which is good. Dawn has joined the Blackfires. Who are you? No idea. You have 5,000 men, though, so thank you very much. The Tullys and the Riverlands are also on my side. And you guys... Not on my side. New war. Wait, what? You are the new target of the veil. Wait, wait, what? What, 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 what? The, the reach is attacking me now? Oh, for the Riverlands. Okay. I didn't realize the Riverlands were in such a big... Oh, look at this. This is an absolute mess. So if we go ahead and look here, who... So Dawn have betrayed us. They only have 32,000. We haven't... Okay, we should hopefully win this. Uh, I need to go ahead and put my armor on. Do I have a, a suitable helmet? We need to get our helmets on. Not a Kingsguard helmet. Oh, dear. This, this could be Valyrian. This one. Oh, Rhaegar's helm. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull our helmet on. Ready for war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I really love Crusader Kings, guys. We can call on our ally. You can call on your dynasty member, King Aegon. Oh, this is other stuff, though. So, this war... We, aren't, we can't focus on this war right now. Now, we go to our decisions. God, this episode's spicy. I wasn't expecting this. This is amazing. We need to... I think now would be a good idea to call on my dragon. We need 500 gold. I haven't used this option yet. Request a loan from the Iron Bank of Bravos. Surely they must support me. I, I have a dragon. The wealthiest and most reputable financial institution in the world. But Iron Bank is more than happy to extend credit to anyone it deems trustworthy. Be forewarned though. It is not said idly that the Iron Bank will have its due. Uh, okay, so they're going to send some envoys. That's going to take a little bit of time, I assume. We do have a, a bit of gold at least. Where have the enemy spawned? Is this them? Oh yeah, because Driftbark. Wait, isn't my son? My son's in Dragonstone. We're, we're going to have to protect him. So where do we raise the men? Probably in Dragonstone. Right, because we need to protect. But would they be raised in time? How long does it take to raise all? Two months, yeah. We wouldn't be in time. We're going to have to raise the men over here. But what I will do is let's just wait a, a little bit. Because we need to get that loan first and get my dragon. Uh, oh, we're already under siege. Isn't this... Where's the, where's the high tide? If I go like this... No. Okay, they've already sieged this. That's not a lot of men. If we raised... Can we even raise everyone here? There's a little bit of land. I'm going to have to do it. How, how long? Eight months. I mean, we have a tiny little bit of time, actually. And I assume all of this is Riverland stuff. Yeah, if we go up here. Okay, the Reach as well. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. That we're, we've inherited that war as well. Enemy joins the war. That's not good. Uh, Edra has come to me and I immediately knew why. She is with child and there is a little doubt in her heart. As in mind, as to who the father is. However, with my marriage to Rainus, there is nothing I can do except hope that my... I mean, oh, Rainus is actually starting to hate me now as well. Everything's beginning to crumble. <laughs> Where's the Iron Bank of Bravos? <laughs> Aha, here we go. My servants bring me word that three envoys from the Iron Bank of Bravos have arrived seeking an audience with me. Intrigued, I agree to meet them. The foreigners look out of place in my hall... Uh, their three tiered hats and purple robes a stark contrast to my guard's boiled leather. The accent is difficult to understand, tinged with the colours of the east. Their proposal, however, is plain enough. They offer a choice between three loans, one quite modest, one more significant, and a third for a sum that causes my eyebrow to twitch upward. 
Whatever I borrowed would have to be repaid with interest, of course. Oh yeah, of course, it's a loan. I need 500 gold. Repayment in four, including interest, will be due in two years. Can we even earn that back in two years? No idea. But we can now call on our large dragon to battle, at least. The time has come to make use of my dragon. A dragon as large as this is certain to make quick work of any army. Unfortunately, it refuses to fight unless fed. I'll have to give it to quite a meal first. Okay, let's go ahead and feed my dragon. So that spawned 100 men here. Are we feeding them to the dragon? Oh, okay. This is just my dragon here. Oh, I see. Okay. So a large dragon. Wow. Those stats. <laughs> is incredible. 2,500? Okay. <laughs> Do, can we have a command? Yes! We can ride our dragon into battle. Oh, that's incredible. Okay. The role play is there. Can, can I fly? I can embark for one gold. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, look at that. They're already running. They know the dragon is approaching. Should I fly by myself on my dragon? The problem is I don't know how strong a dragon actually is. So what I should also do is raise uh, the regular armies here as well. But whilst we're, we're raising the men over here, um, Aegon can ride into battle on his dragon maybe uh, and pick off some enemies there. Who's going to command this? Okay. Do I have armies elsewhere? No. No. Interesting. Right, let's go ahead. We're, we need to deal with disembarking, though, don't we? If we land in Driftmark, and then hopefully we can wait for the disembark penalty to, to vanish. Commander traitors improved. Let's get off gold for a second. I think we should go on chivalry. And also go and organize army. Uh, that's all looking fine there. There we go. Betrothed can marry as well. So much stuff is going on. We, we're missing... Draw, no one wants to marry you. D uh. You know what, Draw? Can I just allow... I'm just going to allow you to make your own marriages. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. You can deal with it. You're old enough to deal with it yourself. Right, something else is under siege. Now, where did the black fires disappear off to? They, they're running. Okay, let's pursue them. A sellsword by the name of Gwyn has arrived at my court today, and after speaking to my master at arms, he has come before me seeking employment. Who are you? Uh, 21 prowess. I mean, we could do a champions. 20 gold, though. Yeah, I can't really afford it. I have no use for your ilk. We, we can't right now. We can't really afford it. Right, where are you guys landing? Are there sea battles? I don't think so. That 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 they are running. We're, we're going to keep on pursuing them. <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> they're going. Wait, why do I control this? Oh, because they joined me. Of course, they're they're, they're allied with me. So not all of Dawn is against me. That's interesting. Okay. This army over here. Then is this army actually needed, or should we send them to the Riverlands? I think they can go to the Riverlands. Well, that's uh. That's as long as my dragon is as powerful as I think it is, of course. Where, where am I on my dragon? Oh, there I am. That was quick. Right, where should we land? We need to land somewhere where our disembark penalty can hopefully vanish. That's if we get one. Uh, command it. Yeah, recently disembarked. 21 days left on that. Let's, let's wait for that one to expire. We've raised this army now as well. We also have the Baratheons here. Okay. What's the numbers like here? 50,000 versus 46,000. That's not so good, is it? Oh, this is their land. I should have taken this. Of course I should. I think we can... If my allies march north with me, we can do with this. The problem is, guys... Right, we're going to have to really slow down the game here, I think. Because we're, we're commanding two armies. We're sieging this. Where have they disappeared to now? What? Is there like fog of war or something that I'm missing? Their armies have just completely vanished from here. Guys, this is... They, they, they've bamboozled me. 
<laughs> okay, right, this army then. Oh, no, that's, that's not what I wanted to do, this army. Uh, you, you're going to march north. There's a lot of armies here. Maybe we can intercept this small force. Okay, that's more than a small force now. We're in debt. Yes, uh, I know that. We can imprison Lady Hazel. Let's not bother with that right now. Where did the black fires disappear to? I mean, whilst we're here, maybe we can siege Dawn. Could be a possibility. We're going to be heavily in debt after this. I'm not sure how we're, we're going to recover. Oh, we need to pay back the Iron Bank as well. Oh dear, we might have to disband our main army. Marshal, Marshal Perk available, okay. Fort level plus one enemy occupations do not lower control. Let's go ahead with that one. That's probably going to be useful if anyone goes to King's Landing. We, we don't have enough soldiers to siege. Okay, so that's balanced a little bit there. Where did their men disappear to? I mean, we have to prioritize, right? Instead of dealing with this, I think I might actually go and deal with this and take the the uh, take drift mark back. Oh, that's gonna cost so much gold. Okay, we're not gonna catch up to you guys in time, are we? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, the black fires are here. Right, let's go ahead and pursue them. <laughs> I don't like fighting this far apart. <laughs> I'm so lost. Okay, and then we're going to march up here as well. Is there a bridge crossing here? There's a ford. Can I cross here though? Okay, I can. We're going to have to march through the ford. Let's go over here and hopefully we can take the fight to them. Large dragon. What's this? To the handsome King Aegon of the Iron Throne. I would like for your nephew King Rhaegar. Wait, wait, pause the game. Uh, King Rhaegar, your nephew Rhaegar, to become the squire. Okay, yes, accept. That's fine. You you go ahead with that. Wait, where where's where's Aegon gone? What? My army's disappeared. Wait, what just happened? I'm so confused. Did the dragon already disappear? Does it not last long at all? I am incredibly confused now. Do I... I think the dragon already expired. Wow. Wow. We didn't even get to use the dragon. That's uh, not good. That's... We've completely screwed up here. Completely. Right, I think we should just ignore this war of the Riverlands. To be honest. Um, can we get back to friendly territory? What I'm going to do... We're just... We're just... Building debt here. There we go. Let's disband the army. We need to get back out of debt. And what I'm going to do is re-raise the men over here. Actually, we should just raise them right now. I mean, it's going to take seven months anyway. So let's try and recover just a tiny little bit of gold. And then uh, we're going to raise the men over here and take Driftmark. In fact, our allies are already taking Driftmark. Okay, we might have to might be able to rely on our allies. That's incredibly disappointing. But the dragon is already gone. The clanging of mail and the clashing of swords ring in my ears as my knights practice their arms. I study them intently. Trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them. For as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee. The stable doors are opened. It is time to bring out the mount. Today we are going field riding. Bring my armor. I haven't ridden. Oh yeah, bring my armor. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe the dragon's already gone. Unless I accidentally hit a hotkey to disband or something. But I don't think I did. But... Yeah, they're, they're completely gone. We, we don't even have them as special special soldiers anymore because this was our starting army. Wow. Okay, looks like the, the dragon doesn't stay full for long then. And we can't even use that decision for another 15 years now. So <laughs> that was uneventful. Oh dear, 40 years, 200 years. Okay, they, they, they desperately need our help. <laughs> 200 years. What if we just raise the men at arms? 
and then we can use our siege equipment. That's probably a good idea. Edro is carrying the burden of having given birth to a fatherless bastard. It is terrible for an unmarried woman and a child, yet I cannot let it be known that I am the true father. Or what will become of you, my son? Uh, the child is mine. There we go. We have another bastard. Let's go ahead and pin him so we can just keep an eye on him there. The secret that Porphyra is my child is suddenly on everyone's lips. I already knew that Porphyra was the result of my dalliances with Edera, but the repercussions of Porphyra could be dire. To live life as a bastard is not an easy thing. Now everyone knows as well. It's fine. Yeah, we lost a level of devotion as well. I can't believe the dragon's already gone. We wasted so much gold. That's yeah, fine. Right, let's raise the men at arms, I guess. We're, we're, we will lead them. And then we'll take our siege equipment and then just try and help out in these sieges here. We don't need all the levies. And that, and that way our gold should be okay as well. You have a claim. I, I don't really care for your claim right now. I'll be honest. No, guys, carry on the siege, you fools. <laughs> oh, these absolute fools. <laughs> oh, dear. This is... Uh, it's turned out to be a chaotic episode. What's this? Uh, no, we don't need the claim right now. I can't afford it. How long is this going to take? Not enough soldiers. Come on, guys. Come and help, at least. Uh, help would very much be appreciated. 13 years? I mean, better than 74 years over there. 13 years? Wowzers. Will supplies even last that long? Well supplied. Okay. We're, we're taking attrition. 25 per month. Wowzers. That is incredible. Maybe we'll get some events that will end this. The Blackfire Rebellion is no joke, is it? We'll have to see if their armies come north. If they do, then we'll just have to intersect them. My daughter Aelis has been asking me for a rolling hoop for a long time, and I told her I would get one for her in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. Ever since I made the promise, she has been redoubling the efforts of her studies. I would never deceive you, Aelis. There we go. She's trusting. Can I do something about this war? Now, can I just tell you to stop? I can offer peace. They won't accept. Like, I, I just really don't care about this war. Like, I, I really, really don't care about this war. It's it's not even my war. I care about this war. Even the uh, the Tullys have come here to help us now. Uh, even they don't care about their own war. Okay, I mean, we're going to have to continue this. Do we have enough men here at last to... Uh, we should do, and I guess they'll, they'll keep sending more. What In an ideal world, the Black Fires would come back and try and protect this, because then we should easily wipe them out. However, I don't think that's going to... They took the Skyreach? Oh, okay, I, I misunderstood. I thought this was the Skyreach. No, of course, that's the that's the Eerie, isn't it? Where's Skyreach, then? Somewhere over here. Yeah, they're, they're going to clean up that wall. I, I don't care. Nothing bad happens to me, does it? If I surrender, yeah, nothing bad happens to me. It's fine. We can completely ignore that war safely, I think, unless they go to King's Landing. Uh, you have a claim. Okay, uh, not very interested in that right now. 84 years, 65 years, 12 years. There we go. We've gained some progress. Let's increase the, the speed. Otherwise, we will literally be here for, for 12 years. As long as King's Landing remains safe, we should be fine. Send gift. What's this? To the implacable King Aegon of the Iron Throne. Please accept this humble gift. It is not much, but I hope it is of use to our continued friends. Gold. Thank you very much. That's... Let's organize army. That's incredibly generous and extremely helpful right now. We can declare wars. Oh. Right, let's not do that yet. Uh, in person... No, we're not doing this. Pay my debt to the Iron Bank. 700 gold. We don't have 700 gold. Oh dear. Maybe... Oh, we don't even get any gold from this. It, it's gaining good progress, though. Only eight years left now. So I think we are getting some good siege events, uh, at least. Today, Peter held a fiery sermon for all of the children of the court. They were apparently spellbound as he zealously read from the seven-pointed star. 
My grandson Vaymond keeps telling me about how much he enjoyed the passages about the Lord of the Seven Hells and how he is someone who ideals he will aspire to emulate. Say what you want, but having no scruples will serve him well. Vaymond is sadistic. <laughs> it's fine. I really hope... What, what do we get if we win this? We imprison... Okay. And they become my vassal. Do you have... I wonder, King Aegon. Do you have anything in your inventory? You have sea foam. Oh, okay. The Valyrian steel cutlass of House Valerian is decorated with the sigil of the seahorse. This curved sword with its beautiful carved silver handle was purchased with the proceeds of generations of trade. I don't think that's yours though, is it? Look at all these siege messages, oh dear. So we got 8 years, 50 years. Okay, that's gone down for sure. Send gift. Oh, more people are sending us gold. Yes, please. We need it for the Iron Bank. I think people heard of our debt. Uh, uh, and they're desperately trying to give us enough gold to pay us off. That's good. At least we have some loyal uh, and very generous vassals under our rule. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are we still trying to... I, we can't be fabricating this claim. Just go on religious relations. There we go. Uh, my scepter. Thank you very much. I remember the day when my daughter Genera was born. My serene daughter. Memories like these bring me comfort. No matter what happens, I know that my family is there for me. And that House Targaryen stands strong. Fire and blood. I whisper under my breath. I would treasure the fort. Oh, we can't give her gold right now. Uh, I would treasure the fort. There we go. House Targaryen is actually looking rather good. If I don't say so myself. If we open the dynasty tree. Look at this. We're, we're, we've definitely grown the family. Uh, of course, this was our first character, Rhaegar. Look at that. <laughs> 40 living members currently. I think the Targaryen name is safe for now. It depends on the Blackfire Rebellion as well, though. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Are you? Okay, you're already betrothed. There we go. You are a flamboyant trickster. Interesting. Cousin killed in siege? Wait, wait, wait. Stop giving pop-ups. Oh, okay. She was... That's fine. She's Dornish anyway. We're, we're going to revoke their titles after these wars. They're winning. I, I just really hope I can take their capital in time. It's eight years. I do wonder if it's possible or not. Enemy ally joins the war. That's not good. Two years almost of a day since the first set foot in my whores. The same three envoys of the Iron Bank of Bravos return. They begin with their niceties. The compliments of my land my keep the attentiveness of my servants. But I have no illusions as to their purpose. No sooner have these courtesies left their mouths than they get to the sharp point of their visit. King Aegon, payment for the loan you took against the Iron Bank of Bravos has come due. The lead envoy says... There is not a drop of incivility in his manner, yet a chill still runs down my spine. Oh, can I just pay off a tiny bit right now? I could. <laughs> uh, I cannot afford the full amount. Let us work out a payment schedule. Can we do this? The Iron Bank is firm in its demands on its clients, but not unreasonable. They are, after all, a business, and businesses want nothing more than to run smoothly. To that end, the envoys offer to allow me to pay off my debt over four years in smaller increments. So we give them 175 gold now. Yes, thank you. Okay, at least they're, they're understanding. Um, Maylor... Wait, what's, what's happened here? Wait, Maylor, you're with... Stefan Baratheon? Oh, dear. <laughs> We can't be dealing with that right now. We have bigger things to deal with. Oh, that's interesting. Though. Strong mead is under siege. As long as King's Landing isn't under siege. I feel like we're going to have to... Oh, dear. The Dornish are here. Oh, and the Blackfires. We should go and deal with them. Eight years. Oh, we... I don't want to give up. We've already made so much progress here. Brother, a word, please. My master of laws, Lord John, approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. He gestures to a less populated spot in the room and I follow him there. I'm concerned about the state of the Red Keep Castle while holding a meeting in one of the rooms. We all noticed a horrific smell. It must have come from the latrines a floor below. I implore you to consider paying to fix the neglected parts of the building. I can't afford that. 
but we're diligent. Oh, my master of coin can handle this matter. Please make it cheaper. Okay, he did. That's still 150 gold that we can't really afford to spend right now, though. I need to deal with these guys. How long would it take? Two months. Let's raise the armies here, then. We, we, we're going to have to deal with that. Hopefully, the... Why are you leaving? Guys, come on. <laughs> Oh, come on. Just don't abandon this siege, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, dear. We don't need help over here. We're going to have 40,000 men. What are you doing? Three weeks, at least, and then we've uh, taken this. If we can defeat the Blackfriars' armies right here, that also might help us with the war score. That's a lot of manpower. We don't have no men-at-arms. It's a risk I have to take. It's a risk I'm willing to take. We need to deal with the Blackfires. Okay, we're, we're going in. What's this? To the implacable King Aegon of the Iron Throne, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. This war has gone on for far too long and I'm glad to put an end to it. I accept your surrender. Okay, so what's happened here? The Vale now have control of the Riverlands. That's going to make them extremely powerful. Correct? Whoa! <laughs> Look at the veil! So, do we still have the Tullys anywhere? Yeah, they still control... They still control Riverrun, at least. Oh, a five-year-old, though. How long that lasts will be... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see on that one, I guess. The veil, do you want to join my war now? I, I don't think I can, can I? No, okay... That's fine. At least we don't have to worry about that. Can I call... Let me... How's this battle going to go? Oh, it's really not in our favor. Yeah, it was never going to work out, was it? I had to try something, though. Ha oh, and these guys abandoned the siege. <laughs> yeah, Aegon was very good in... Uh, tournaments and stuff but it seems like he's not that good of a marshal i never expected i would grow as close to lord lucian as i have done in the past few years on multiple occasions he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man with only my best interests at heart it's so rare to find a true friend oh dear this this episode's gone absolutely terrible but that's why we play on iron man mode actually we're being saved by our allies because we like to roll with these punches it makes things much more interesting and in fact, we just won a battle. Oh, my maester's dead. <laughs> Died from being ill. Okay, that's unrelated to the battle. We we need a new maester. Where, where's the maester? Common? No. Uh, special, right? Maester? We don't have a maester. So we're going to have to send for a maester from the citadel. Let's go ahead and do that. And, oh, we're already on organized army. Oh dear, we're, we're, we're broke. Right, how did this battle go? Levy's got the most kills. Our... Okay, yeah, these aren't our... Yeah, these aren't our champions and stuff anyway. All of ours are with... Um... Oh, we can ransom... 100 gold, thank you very much. That takes me out of debt. All of our men at arms and stuff are over here. So that helps with the war score a little bit. Can I disband this army now? Probably. But we should probably reclaim this stuff here. And I kind of want to pursue the Blackfires as well. The maester I sent for from the Citadel has arrived in the Red Keep. A vineman by the name of Alan. Let us hope he will be loyal and wise. 290 gold? Wow. I mean, we need a maester. <laughs> oh dear, everything's falling apart. Never would I have thought that a man could have too much passion, yet it seems life has proved me wrong. Some days I feel as if my spare time is nothing but picking out the perfect gifts for Sorella, stating Edera's seemingly boundless lust, and having romantic dinners with Arana. For how long can I go on like this? These women will be the end of me. Ugh. Oh, we're going to become stressed as well. We're, we're overcome by stress. Guilt and shame have been plaguing me as of late. 
All of my sins, my flaws, my failings, these dark thoughts distract me from my responsibilities and keep me awake at night. I feel like I must do something to put an end to this mental anguish, but what could uh, possibly help? We, we can't lose 500 gold. Uh, some milk of the poppy will put my mind at ease. So we gain a new trait. Aegon is dependent on the consumption of milk of the poppy to deal with the stress of everyday life. <laughs> oh dear. Things are, things are going downhill fast. I love Crusader Kings. Right. Decisions. Milk of the poppy somewhere down here. Uh, let's notify this because we're, we're, we're going to need to lose that stress as soon as we can. Look at our gold. Wowzers. We should probably disband this army in fact. Are you guys coming back to help me? I think they are. <gasps> it's one thing after the other. The mounting finally died of old age. 79. Gregor, the son of Lord Robert of Fang, who has fulfilled his solemn oath and has departed this world under the mantle of his white cloak. Gregor, the mountain that rides, died of old age. Is... Oh, Sandor also died. Wow. He was a warrior of incredible renown. Those who had the fortune to see him with a blade in hand described him as having fought like the warrior incarnate. His steel now rests alongside him, but it will echo in the minds of young warriors across the realm for centuries. With his departure to the seven heavens, the duty now falls to fill the vacancy amongst the renowned ranks of the White Skull. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Terrible. Oh, what's this? Oh, we need to pick a new Lord Ker... Yeah, with the passing of Gregor, the son of Lord Robert of Fang Hill, the, uh, the, your sworn swords are robbed of leadership. Now comes the crucial task of fulfilling his sabatons. Runsa would seem the best man for the job and expected by most to succeed Gregor as Lord Commander. However, the choice ultimately lays in your hands. Runsa, you... Do you have the highest prowess then, I guess? You do, okay. Uh, Runso is the natural successor to the office. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and uh, allow that. So he's now Lord Commander of the King's Guard. We need a new King's Guard, but I think we're going to have to do that in the next episode. I'm already over my recording time a little bit. Things are getting very chaotic. <laughs> the Veil are now massive. As are the Reach, actually. Wait, the Reach started like this, though, I think. Look at that. The Veil is huge. Hopefully we can withstand this Blackfire Rebellion and soon we can take at least a drift mark back uh, and we'll, we'll see how things progress in the next one. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching as always and I'll see you next time.